Orthopedic oncology is a, a very small specialty. There are not very many of us around the country. I was very drawn to it. Um, it combines the challenges and rewards of taking care of patients who have cancer uh, with a, a major uh, functional component of restoring and preserving function and quality of life and uh, challenging and complex you know, surgical uh, scenarios that require a lot of creativity and a lot of problem solving and a lot of working closely with patients and families to come up with the best solution for them. And so all those things for me and developing a really longitudinal close relationship with patients and families were, were sort of the perfect mix clinically. I take care of kids and adults uh, that have tumors of the bones, uh, muscles, nerves, soft tissues, so the musculoskeletal system. And a big part of that is a, a uncommon tumor called a sarcoma, which is a family of about 80 or more different types of tumors, all of which are rare, uh, that occur in the bones and the soft tissues. A big part of what I do is called limb salvage surgery. So um, that is a scenario where there's a tumor, typically a sarcoma, uh, that involves a limb or the pelvis um, and, and needs to be removed to treat the patient and, and ideally cure the patient of their cancer, but involves complex removal of, of supportive structures and, and structures that make the limb function. So our job in that scenario, and I say our because we're part of a, a, a multidisciplinary team and that's what I love about this specialty. Our job is to remove the tumor in such a way where it doesn't come back and it, it cures the patient ideally of the cancer, gives them the best chance of cure, but also preserves function and, and minimizes complications. A patient that comes in with a, a diagnosis of sarcoma, um, that, that can be any age, any patient. So sarcoma can happen from you know newborns to, to 99 year olds. Um, and so that visit can look different depending on who the patient is. And, and that patient may be bringing in a, a very concerned large family with them, or they may be coming alone. Um, my goal for those patients, you know, it, a lot of patients come in with a, a very murky understanding of what's going on. And that's largely because this is a very rare disease and not a lot of people sort of have the expertise to e explain what's going on. I personally uh, enjoy getting to know patients and families and getting a close connection. And I think that's also very important for these patients going through this process because uh, it can be scary and it can be sort of a dynamic fluid situation.